The government of India has very much kind enough to give this land to the Tibetan peoples for rehabilitation purpose. We are here since you know, 40 years. So during this period, these are the basic necessities. Without shelter, nobody can survive. So due to that, uh, we have uh, constructed a lot of buildings. When China occupied our land, we fled from there to save ourselves at any cost. We had to leave our property behind. The Chinese harassed us. They imposed heavy taxes on all commodities. They arrested people en masse and put them behind bars. So in order to save ourselves, we had to flee our own land. Initially, when we came to India, we had to face some difficulties, mainly because we didn't know the local language. Our social and food habits also were different. Since 1967, we have been living here in Karnataka. Many of the monasteries in Tibet now have been devastated. They are in a very bad shape. We settled in the Tibetan camps in India and built monasteries exactly like the ones we had in Tibet. We want to keep the traditions of Tibetan Buddhism alive so that we can preserve Tibetan culture, which in turn means that we want to keep our desire to return to Tibet very much alive. Before everyone is awake in the morning, my wife makes tea mixed with milk, salt and butter. This is a unique Tibetan way of making tea. We don't sip tea until we offer the first cup to our God, and then only does our day begin. The final goal of Buddhism is to liberate oneself from the cycle of birth, old age and death. We can liberate ourselves only through Nirvana. Nirvana is the state of enlightenment. It can be attained very rarely. Every Lama ought to be pious, kind-hearted and knowledgeable. He must not utter foul words, commit theft or violence, imbibe alcohol or have a sexual desire. Then only can he conquer the vices of greed, malice, egotism and infatuation and attain nirvana. When we came in India in 1959, we are boarded in Nepal. At that time my father, mother has four sisters and two brothers. We are so small. And uh, after reaching uh, Nepal, uh, I remember that uh, we don't have to eat and uh, it's every day we have to, on the foot, we have to come to India. Uh, this settlement was established in 1966. Uh, beginning it was very much difficulties because this was very thick forest. Even uh, people's difficult to uh, go one point to another point. Then the Tibetan has uh, deforest these areas. So total area is uh, 4,000 acres. So the settlers of these settlements are cultivating the various crops. 1963, I joined in school at uh, Masuri and Tibetan Homes Foundation. I studied uh, six years. After that, I came for Delhi, Holy Family Hospital. There I worked for six years. After that, I came to this settlement. Uh, I got married. Some lamas are able to liberate themselves. Some aren't. First of all, they should understand the complexities of life. They should also do critical evaluation. Only after dedicating the whole life to this path, they can liberate themselves. But despite all this, many people do not succeed in liberating themselves. Just, uh, I'm dying to go back in Tibet. Even uh, not only myself, my children also, they are born in here, but still they want to go to back to Tibet and they want to see the Tibet. And uh, I also trying to teach uh, our cultures to my uh, 
next generation also. I have come from Belgaum, which is 150 kilometers away from here. The folks from my village who had visited this place before told me that one gets cured here. My diabetic count has been reduced and I have also got relief from pain in my knee joints. Firstly, our medicines don't cause any side effect. Secondly, our medicines are not like allopathic pills. Our medical system doesn't treat patients based on their disease symptoms. On the contrary, we try to diagnose the root cause. Hence, we check the patient's pulse and urine. Medicines are prepared in Dharamsala and for that we get the necessary herbs from the Himalayan regions, Ladakh, Nepal and also Tibet. There are two types of customers here. One who are settled here and engaged in agricultural activities. And another section they are mainly concentrating on sweater business. Every year we are giving loans to the Tibetans. More or less, they are uh, very prompt in uh, paying our dues and their commitment is very clear. I am the manager of the Tibetan Handicraft Center. We make carpets on order. Many people from very remote towns such as Karwar, Sirsi, Belgam, Dharwar, etc. come here. They choose the designs and place orders. We have many designs with figures of lions, flowers, dragons, etc. We get plenty of work. और ड्रैगन जैसे अनेक डिजाइन है हमें काफी काम मिलता है मैं पहले से फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग आई वांटेड टू लर्न आर्ट एट स्कूल I have been working almost for 40 years and now I feel very happy to teach my art to others. Any number of people can approach me and I'll teach them free of cost because I was also poor once. Uh, in our Tibetan, uh, Agile Tibetan government, which is uh, the Dharamsala in our headquarters, we have the democratic setup. We have the legislature, executive, and the judiciary. Now, regarding, I think, Chinese, uh, so still it is a uh, very critical situation. Those uh, Tibetans who are in Tibet, very critical situation. They are under torturing. Uh, His Holiness Dalai Lama has proposed uh, five point peace plans uh, five point uh, it's a uh, self rules autonomous this is the main uh, gist of the proposals except uh, the foreign policy defense so this two will comes under the chinese rules so rest uh, comes under the self government so still uh, we are waiting because there was no, no response from chinese side Today, Tibetan culture is living in India and not in Tibet. Since we are in exile, we want to preserve our own Tibetan way of living so that we can keep our history and culture alive and re-establish them when we go back. India took 300 years to free itself, while our struggle is not even 50 years old. For a nation, it's not a long time, and we are sure that one day we'll go back to Tibet all together. So as soon as we get uh, peaceful settlements with Chinese government, so everybody will go back. We hope it will uh, solve amicably very soon.